Alright, G to the G to the GGG. And another good match has happened here on the surface of Transformers Ball of Cybertron. And I wish a respective good game to both clans here for Havoc and for AOC. And this is a very good momentous occasion for AOC as this turns out to be a very nice match that's in full one for us because this is a very big match for their camp because they spent a lot of really good time celebrating today. This was our first big win since the standoff against uh, Newman and Terracon's clan, the Brawlers. Joining with me today is going to uh, be some special guests of mine also that were a part of this clan battle. And this is the first time I'm taking part of a uh, special guest during my Aftermath segments, as I usually do all those years where I do the Aftermath synopsis of each segment and a breakdown thesis of each part of the clan battle. And so joining me in said outline here is going to be uh, Grimwave from AOC's representative and Shadow Man from Havoc's rep. Oh, also Leo's in here. Yes, yeah, also Leo. Yeah. Yo, add me on PSN. Booty found in 95. Okay, enough. Don't know how I'm going to come let's in. Let's get down to it and get it horrible. <laughs> yeah. Anywho. Alright, first of all, let's see if we can't go into an overall analysis here for Capture the Flag and how that started out. Now, uh, who wants to start? Well, it's up to you guys. For me, what it is I noticed on my end was when we first started into this, it was a six on six, correct? Yeah. All right. When we started in here as a six on six, uh, the map the map outline and everything here was set to go. I was annoyed at the beginning, honestly, just because I had the outline set for how we're how we're going to do this. I didn't get a chance to really do my role because I felt I was really doing good as a destroyer, and so I had to forcefully switch since the other dude that was supposed to be the role that I had to force to switch into, switch to know his role without saying anything. We won't mention his name. Yeah, so I just had to adjust. And it's fine. I, we were still able to do what we could do for the most part. Throughout that match, I noticed very subtle points of lag. It was not really noticeable. And I believe at one point, there was a, ma a point where you had lagged out, Shadow? Um, yeah, I lagged and froze at the same time. I froze. It's both. And Grim also froze. He froze in the beginning of the game. I froze during the middle of it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Because during those points is where it had to adjust yeah. to a, it had to adjust into a sizable five versus five before it could re-upgrade back to the six versus six. Mm -hmm. During those matches, there was a pretty good outline for competitiveness that happened. Capture the flag ended in AOC's favor at. Five to two touchdowns. Three. Three, uh, was it three touchdowns? I think five yes. to two or five to three. Yeah, one of those two. And I do got to give props to Death Guns on that one because he was able to successfully make numerous different captures throughout the totality of Capture the Flag. Whenever it is that it was a, that we got the well, that we got the point. I know one of those yeah. uh, Golden Prime did get one, but and Death Guns got the other ones, and so I definitely got to say good props to you guys out there. Yeah, I will admit, Death Gun has improved since the first AOC. Yeah. And that's a compliment. Yeah, yeah. like, that's a really good. Because that was Titan Touchdown, and now this was with Destroyer Touchdown. And then move Next on. Next Scientist. Mm-hmm. And then moving on, we go into round two, which was the conquest on AOC's host. The conquest? No, that was Havoc's host. Marv was host. Yeah. Oh, ha Havoc's host. Havoc's host. Okay. That was the conquest on Havoc's host since Marvin was host of that. Can I that say something? That one was the host on... Yeah, sure. Uh, I was going to say, like, uh, during the capture of the flag going back, we did have some problems. Who was going to be defending, like, the flag? Because everybody, we, um, there was at a point where everybody was at um, offense. There's nobody defending. Which that was, was a point problem. that I did want to point out, but I wasn't going to make too big of a deal on it because I took because I took the liberty since I saw the majority of the people were already attacking. I took the liberty to take pull myself away from the offense since I was a titan and actually stay back and try to defend. So if I go down. Or if you see a challenge happen for the flag, then people or a couple people got the indicator to kind of sort of, you know, hey, we got to get back to base. 
Because I put that in the Skype call that we all originally had that, hey, there's nobody defending again, but that's why I figured, wait a minute, if everyone's there and I'm already right here, then I might as well stay right here. Yeah. That was a point down for us. I mean, not a point, but I was like, it was a point down, but then suddenly, once I realized that, and then I stayed back, and suddenly, like, a random capture happened in our favor that tied it up at one to one. I'm just like, I, I, I don't know what the hell happened, but I'm not complaining. Yeah. I, yeah. I, when I, I when I, when that happened, I was like, what just happened? What I missed? Because when that, when that, when that happened, um, I was at defense. Um, if you got, if you guys remember. On the Seth Con side, there's the upper deck to the left, and you can stand behind that box that we yeah. can see towards the middle. That's where I was, and MP was right by the flag. And I didn't see anyone come in until like the last second I noticed, oh, this one has our flag. I'm like, okay, am I high or something? Because I just missed that. It's like a freaking ninja. Yeah, you know. Because there's just so many, there's so, a couple different points where it just randomly happened, and I'm just not entirely sure between offense and defense. It's like the flag, the flag runners were on both teams were really doing doing their job. It's like you just sneak in there and just get it undetected. Yeah, that amazed me. But mm-hmm. towards the end, um, when you guys were about to get your fifth capture, Marv he suggested that hey. You know, let's pull some, he didn't say this specifically, but let's pull a TFL, man. Let's all go in and let's get that flag. Part of me wanted to do that, but I'm like, can we really pull that off? It's a strategy that can work only if there was nobody defending the flag or if there was one or two people defending. If you're trying to go and get the flag and you're the ones that are on defense, or if you have our flag and we have your flag, and you go to try, and you have like almost the whole team, but maybe one dude go and try to push like that. That's not gonna work that well. Yeah, I mean we could have done it, but right now with Havoc is, I mean Havoc is still a brand new clan in the community. Yes, it has people who aren't new to the community, who are very familiar, but still a fresh clan. Right. And yeah, I've ha- I personally I've had experience with most of these guys in here. But as a whole entire team, we still got to build that up, whether it's slowly or fast. Either way, we still got to build it up. Okay. And then moving on into my analysis is into round two of the clan battle, which was the conquest. That was a 500-point capture on Havoc's host. And you said Marvin was the host of that one. (laughs) Yes, it was. That one, I was dubious about the, the map choice. But a couple of the AOC guys wanted to try and do something different on a map on a map that was favored by a past conquest relevant type of claim. That was um, props to homage yeah. to LSC. Which was Tempest. Which was Tempest, because Tempest was one of their was one of their time honored maps. And so yeah. I went on ahead and tried it out. But man, that was rough. Well, your favorite. Yeah, but it, but it was it worked really well. But I think the, again, yeah, a little. The host was bad. Like it was the like downside. Big. The downside of that is, like, for example, CTF, there was some delay, but not as bad as it was in Conquest. Um, Marv hosted Conquest. Um, personally, I wish I hosted, but, you know, you know what happens, happens. I'm not going to bash Marv's host, um, but that day, it just, it, it just was not good at all, and I had so much delay that I didn't know where my shots were going. I couldn't tighten them correctly. I couldn't, you know, melee someone when I wanted to. It was just so bad, but we tried our best to play it based on our plan, but then, but our plan went total crap. But, you know, the upside is, you know, we can change that in the future. Okay. Yep. That's a good observation of it. Marv kept teabagging everybody. Mm, well, okay. I'm not going to worry about that too much. I mean, yeah, I mean, the, he was predominantly just teabagging me and you, Grims, but I'm not going to worry about that. I mean, yeah. those, those things happen from time to time. People get frustrated. People may get upset and all that stuff, and that's 
that's okay. Those are just natural humanly emotions that do happen sometimes. It's not always respectful in that sense, but I'm not gonna. But I'm not gonna poke the finger or crucify, crucify him for anything like that. It's to the past. Our goal was to try to establish a good game, and despite the temporary drama that did ensue out of that. I'm not gonna put I'm not gonna do yay or nay about it. I'm just still gonna shake hands, G to the G like I, like we always do. Move on, and hey, tomorrow's another day for another battle. Yeah. Conquest mm -hmm. Conquest was won at the, the full five hundred to two seventy two eighty ish range. Yeah, something that, like that, yeah. Three hundred, maybe two or something. Mm -hmm. I gotta go back and take a look back at the um at the recording strip. But yeah, it was around that marker. And then that's where we hit match point for the clan battle. See we then, we in conquest we didn't defend any nodes, we were just capturing. Just as soon as we capture some uh, one node we'll go to another node and capture it the other way. I know, and that's another thing there is that for the scientists there, I gotta give props to Captain Duck. He he used his strategy on those turret placements were ingeniously good and they were fast placings. Mm -hmm. And I gotta give props to Shen to live. That medic, his medic, oh my god, it, it rose it to the next level. God heals. God heals. <laughs> yeah. I have finally, finally seen the new era Austin 1, 2, 3. And I am most <laughs> pleased. Uh, this way. Austin's gonna get replaced. Yo. To the times. And then on round three, we went into Team Deathmatch. Team Deathmatch was also on Havoc's host. That one there was a very closely fought match. This one was fought on the map Desolation. Desolation, yeah. That was fun. That was another. That was another time I had a chance to really try out some. Try out my hand at something new. So I had a chance to try out doing some sniping. Oh yeah, that was fun. And I, I did had a the chance. Same thing. And I had fun. a chance to switch out Shen for uh, I think Flux. In order to try yeah, him out of yeah, that. Yeah. I gotta say, his medic capabilities have improved a little bit further. It still needs a little bit more work, but it did not miss a step. I, I liked it for the most part. For the most part, everybody did good. Yeah. In our side. I will say so. Team Deathmatch was a very closely fought battle, but AOC did lose that battle at a score of. 50 to 48. It was a very close. It was a very close match. Points there, yeah. Mhm. Mm and all the same, it was, this was a very well fought match and a hardly fought and earned victory. And I couldn't be more blessed just to have seen a very good clan battle come to pass. I will say, you guys deserved it after you know so much matches that you had so close, like Nemesis and stuff. Yeah. You guys deserve it. Yeah. And so now from here, we just try and see where we head into next and what new opportunities are, that are going to be out there still. Yeah. <laughs> overall, I believe this will be it. This concludes my overall synopsis and outline for the Alliance and Havoc's clan battle. And Grimwave and Leo and Shadow, I do appreciate you guys coming on board as my special guests for this. Oh, uh, sure thing. Oh, I love you, can I say one last thing? Sure, what's up? I love you. Um, since this was our second battle, um, just know in the future there will be more. I am is that looking, a threat? I'm, I am look. No, it's not a threat. No, nope, but it is a good challenge, though. I mean, we are always open. I am look. We are looking forward to another uh, continuation. I'm not, bro. We won. I'm not kidding. <laughs> we are. Next target is to fight Arcus Clan. We're dominating them. If we can, we'll see what happens. And as always, guys out there, you guys have a blessed one ahead. Until next time in our clan battling adventures on the grid. Y'all have like a blessed one ahead. And as always, till all are, are one. Done.